I am excited. It's great to have an Enigma on the field, S4. He's not getting all the CS he's probably looking for on that bottom lane, but he's keeping the creep wave back, which is nice. Faith having some troubles getting hit by the phone book of Jirax. No tail. Able to get the ensnare off. Faith, real trouble and fly. Spill the first blood. Because they're worried about the early pressure, I think, massing up on the raindrops. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty unusual for this type of uh, game. Anna, he's moved over. They can start attacking into KP. Have they got detection? Yes, they do. The sentry ward is down. No tell. Trying to keep Faith a little bit further out. Same with Jirax. Anna jumps forward. Lower mana, but with the stomp, is enough damage to kill off KP. Faith retreating back to his own T1 tower, but the Soul Assumption flies in. One more book slap is still not enough, but the attack from Anna will be there. He'll pick up a double kill. I believe with the... Uh, They're going to invade heavily. No Tell yeah. has leveled up Song of the Siren, and he just lets it go. TP's coming in. Oh, Enigma has God. Black Hole. He can set up for three of them right now. SK will be in the neighborhood. That's why S4's getting as much as he can to the right. And he holds them in with the Black Hole. The four of them all caught in with the Storm and the Spirit. I will come in, and it is an absolute disaster for Numi. They're pushed out of the top lane. They look tired, and then they look vortexed. And then the wrap around into mid as he's pushing towards the tower, but it's from behind. Anna with the haste rune, trying to body block and slow up SC. You got another stomp coming in. There's the damage. It actually keeps the life steal in position from the song of the siren of no tell. They're grouping up around him. Enigma's coming in. They'll slap down the split up. U9 dragged back into it. That TP taking a little bit too long. They do have the rock from Faith Fly. I think he knows he's dead. And Kaka will ensure it with the finger of death. Following Sun into Anna. And this is a time when Newbie can get absolutely nothing. That's. Optimistic to say the least, if Jiraz can get the spirit down and then get the stomp, Optimus may be counting their lucky stars. They'll get the two men stun. U U9 able to get himself a little bit further away. Another ET split and snaps the man to the black hole. The perfect synergistic timing. Faith will go down as well. A double kill for S4. He, even if he dies running the Enigma ulti, it's not going to be that jump big of a deal. In. Here comes Anna, the Barra Shrine tries to create space, no BKB up for SC. He used it to secure, secure Roshan. The ET splitter also makes his crack as you fall and die. SC will come back to life again, a quick song of the siren. They group up around him, just add a remnant and the stomp and the kill. That was meant to be the fight where the Aegis gave you the advantage without them. So they understand that OG is moving in. A quick push in. SC actually got forced up into the tower, triggered his own BKB. And now there's no BKB up for this fight. The Song of the Siren groups him in. They're hiding inside the tree lines. Familiars reveal the stomps can be perfect. And there's your black hole, only catching one. But it's a big one. Again, they remove the warlock from the fight. He just can't do anything right. The life stealer will get trapped up to U9, protecting himself, jumping inside the infest. But as he, there is no protection. He's surrounded by a tree, a tree, and a half blaze. And maybe the half blaze is bigger with the SK epicenter. G-Rex wants to TP out the Yule Scepter. He'll cancel it at the last. Last moment as Jirax stunned up, locked up, and brought down Nubi. Even without the rock, maybe it's the fight, but Anna, he's not done yet. He wants round two, able to pull back in the lion. Kaka will fall, KP and U9. Now they have to team up, looking towards S4, munching him down. One more swing, has he got the range? He does, it's an ultra kill for U9. KP still in the neighborhood. They know Anna is here to fight, but the blink, the bonus strike, familiar to here. Fly has returned, and he's looking for more damage. If they can do it, U9 has to rage and protect himself with the physical damage in the solar sun. And he's toggling his way through this fight. The Yule Scepter keeping Visage out. KP, is this a sacrifice? Is he doing it for the team? No, Kaka is here. Create more space, but they're not done yet. The BT's forward. No tails on the front line. No Song of the Siren. No control. And the disengage is there. Uh, he had already oh, broke away. Come on, he just left this part. He got into a quick sandstorm. Needs time. Yule Scepter will bite. He still has Barrow Strike available. SC also with a Requiem of Souls doing some work. KP, there's your Barrow Strike back up again. Watching the ET split. Not really hurting anyone as he's staying inside the pit and has to jump back out the rock will drop no real kills from an s4 the shortest black hole in the history of murder is gone but regardless oh well, they're coming up there's Kaka, jumps in for the Hex, able to find that initial target, but Anna, S4, there's your two-man hole, can he bring them all down, lines the first one to fall, U9, he survives, and now it's time to fight with the epitome for KP, Lagerie on top, it's a double kill for KP, they will fall as a cream, and Anna will die as well, almost able to TP out, but it's a nine stop for the bluster, it's not enough to keep Jirax alive, and Nubi, they will wipe OG from the face of the pit, and then take Roshan the boot. Oh, God.
Why not? Th this, this isn't a thing. Like, he can do what he wants. Like, having Ag hit himself is going to be better for him. Well, the catch out, Kaka trying to go deep to put down the Observe Ward, and he is all good up and will <laughs> die. So, even with the Hardy won't survive KP, a quick sandstorm, he gets caught out by the Song of the Siren. This is big. Remember, KP is better this buyback in the fight before, but there was no damage. He blinks away. TP support coming towards Faith. SC will arrive in the back of the BTs. And OG have to consider if they still want this fight. No Song of the Siren, no way to disengage. Yes! Oh! He's got the cards! The rock will fall! The PKB will protect it! And the epicenter! KP is going to bring in the damage, but NC goes down! 99 seconds without him! The egg is immortal! It brings life back again to U9! Ready to fight another day, but can he? He's instead, he's controlled, and he's losing his friends! KP's gone, and now it's U9 on the world! He'll infest and take the column! He'll try and survive inside the big chaotic offering! It won't be enough! Pop back out, defused up, controlled up, and brought down! So 13 armor with an aura, that's pretty low. Oh, SC showing himself. There's still a lot of newbie behind. There's your BKB into the black hole, holding SC down. The first rock is going to drop, but S4 wants to go for a secondary black hole. He's losing his life quickly, and he knew he had to let it rip, and they've got the kill. No SC for almost two minutes, but what damage can now be done? You're looking for it, the epicenter, KP, he's sung, and maybe with a Burrow strike forward, they do have that infest life, silly do work, Anna jumping back forward, looking for his target, onto the lion, so Kaka is down, and Song of the Siren will now be committed, they will hold him there, Faith wants to start his CP out, Malthus will stop that one, so it's KP and Faith, two different sides, two different battles, but the result is the same, it is death all round, Life Stealer will buy back, Lion's got his, yes, if they don't have the clearance. KP's coming back alive again, so there's the Nagasar and Illusion's doing the push. U9, Orchid on him, they've got to be careful! They can't lose U9 here, KP with the virus strike, trying to create space, U9, able to back out, S4, he's let the BKB run, he's got 7 seconds, that black hole is back off cooldown, they cannot keep this engagement going, or can they? They bait it out longer, Kaka on the run, Heart won't protect you now, the buyback is out, Lion's back right, your black hole! He catches two on the back line, Kaka can't stop it, they're gonna lose everything here, Nubi, and maybe even the game, with no life seal for 2 minutes, they do, they call it! 57 minutes and OG will take game one of this winner's bracket semi-final best of three. I really like that game. Whisper for Monkey King. I was asking for yep. that in the groove stage. Yep. Morphling 101 is not the best. Ooh, bottom lane, there's your first blood. It's Fly, who will be brought down by Newbie. Regeneration and can see us. He's actually beating the OD in CS. Oh, here Pretty we go handling. again. Pick up, throw back down, Hoof Stomp, double edge. Is there enough damage? The Alchemist is still fighting under his own acid spray, but there's not damage from KP. Faith will lose his life. Even if he didn't die to fly, then G Rex was pouncing in through the rear, and it's KP who is now on the run. Needs to Stampede is not available at the moment for newbies, so they can be careful about that, but when you kill off one of the familiars, that's a good start. Fly will be forced to resummon already, Monkey King ready to jump in through the rear, S4, they're going to actually defensively imprison him at the moment, unless that actually belongs to Faith, they pick him up, they're tossing him around like a rag doll, Monkey King tries to create a little bit of space, S4, the black hole is stolen by the Rubik, he doesn't survive long enough to use it, however, as U9 who's left on the front lines, trying to just man mode this up. So they want to try and bring him down. Fresh Observe board out in place. Faith instantly popped SC. They know he's got no massive escape. So he has a strength more. Blinker Sphere got delivered. That might buy a little bit of space. But then the black hole from S4. He'll come back out of the imprisonment eventually into the control. Or maybe not. The Monkey King Ulti is down. SC trying to run the gauntlet of the Keys Guard. Not possible. Fly will fall as well. And the Ursa wants to fight. But Anna will deny him with the imprisonment. Faith will keep Anna around just to think about this a little bit longer. And now imprisonment. Okay, familiars. Stomp down twice. Create more space. Anna's getting stronger as he steals more and more intelligence for KP, holds him in place with a great hook stop. No tail can't do anything anymore. You can try and toggle your way through this, but it won't be enough. The concoction will fly out. And what if you've got a familiar on the back line? It's a defensive imprisonment. The familiar can't even hit the ground, and Faith will survive on 58p in front of his tier 2 tower. Well, no extra stuns to arrive, but U9 losing life so quickly. Kaka has to actually trigger up Mech to get him out to safety, but this puts Faith in a very awkward spot. S4, as well as Fly, catch him out. And then the relocate, bringing the IO so much closer back. Kaka will fall as well. This is meant to be Newbie's time to shine, but OG take the engagement by bringing down both the supports. U9 is not the tower hitter. They need SECC to hit the towers. Ursa is just devastatingly poor at hitting towers. You can only hit towers when pretty much a whole team's dead or you're split pushing. But, like, you have just getting ready no to fight again. Out. 
fly. 13 HP, he survived on. The extra stuns will be there from G-Rex. If you want to trigger the ulti in this position as well, not easy enough. He got dropped down by the trees. Now your black hole will come out, holding the centaur. The Oni will throw the ulti out as well. So Ursa, the AQC model will trigger. SC looking to come back into this fight as possible. No! That Ursa is a goner. KP, does he... There's a lot of, there's a lot coming up. So yeah, Observer was behind, but Newbie find the better angle to approach into. They go for the familiars, both stuns will connect as SC also waveforms in on top of the Enigma Conversions. He doesn't kill off any of them, but he finds the Monkey King, explodes him with a shotgun, and Faith looking to bring in the powers of the Monkey King. The Rubik, obviously the master of all abilities, but KP, the master of the double hook stomp, catching two on the back lines, but no one for Nubi can get close up. Now Nubi 9 jumps forward with that BKB, focusing no tail. He's a critical kill if he can bring him down for the moment. So he's a grab from Faith, will allow him to do so. So no tail will fall. Fly is on the run. The TP out from OD. They'll be successful thanks to the space created by the familiars. Nubi will have to camp these up to bring him down. That's exactly what they want. Fly is inside the pit. Yep. Roshan just spawned that mass pings coming out from the Rubik. He knows. He knows this is going on. SC gonna jump himself down. Waveforms in. How much damage are you gonna do with the BKB? Maybe hell of a lot, but Jirax, it's a great ulti in the double stun, keeping the rest of Nubi out. Remember, they don't have Stampede for this fight, so they can't just instantly correct the positioning here. And U9, he is 1v4 in the front lines. He kills him as more! He never got the black hole off! And U9 wants more! The familiar drop down. He'll dodge them out, but now Anna, with all that intel stolen, 28 points of it, he wants to pump out the damage. The Eclipse is still available! He'll throw it down! But U9 is still up in standing! Maybe not much longer, the orb will miss uphill, but still the familiars there doing the work, plus the extra illusions of the alchemist. As we just kind of wrap around into multiple areas, it's a little bit further up towards the tower, KP and Kaka trying to retreat, there's no tier 2 tower for them to be really protected on, but remember that Aghanim stampede is available, Kaka, Trollo concoctions on him, S4 blinks forward, he's looking for the black hole, if he can get it, three of them just on the tip, throw out the damage and take the kills, as he's got no life to work with, he's having to strength bomb himself out, another black hole, you can steal it and return it, that's what the Rubik's capable of doing, but the stuns will arrive and so will Anna, bringing in the damage that the OD dishes out. Out. A buyback in from the Ursa, but it's desperation now from Nubi. They're down two heroes. They don't have the stand peak or Centaur cannot buy back. So Wukong and up, attack the tier three tower, take the racks as well. They potentially can push for more, but they don't want to push it too far unless they can do that! The explosion! Hurdy was holding all of it, Uno will fall, that's really the game! You've lost everyone, there's no buyback truly left available. It's all on the backs of the Morphling SC, but it will slip off his back and GG is called. OG will take the series 2-0 on the back of the Ana Ultra Kill. And just generally way better team fight coming out from OG. They play super well around the Enigma.